Since there's nothing left to be afraid of, we can divorce. Everyone can go their own way. I won't divorce you. But you said we would. You made a promise. I changed my mind. I have power of attorney. You can't divorce me unless I want you to. I won't divorce you. And I won't leave you. Protect us. Brother, don't. Brother, calm down. Don't call me brother! I am not your brother! Brother, don't. It's okay. Why are you here? I've just learned everything. And? What difference does it make? Karam, come back now! What happened? Mustafa's here! What? Mustafa's here! Come on! Turn the car around. We have to go back, okay? What's happening, My Karen? wife is in danger. We have to go back now. Please, turn back. Be quick! <laughs> Look, go! The police are here! Never come back! Hey! You! You come back here! Okay? Yes, there's nothing wrong. What's happening? There's just been a misunderstanding. There's nothing wrong. Fatma Gul has only taught him a lesson. Did you call Mr. Karim? Uh-huh. You're coming with us to the police station. You too. Come on. Hey, you stay with her, okay? Okay. Magul's old fiance. He couldn't accept her marriage to Karem. He disturbs us all the time. Yes, he disturbs us. Was he the one who entered your house? He beat you and threatened your wife? Why didn't you make a claim? It's not like that. We were so scared because we thought he may come here again. We prevented him. Your story is a little bit confusing. At first, a prostitute is after your wife and then her old fiance. He put that prostitute on Fatma Ghul's tail. It became clear. What do you have to do with the Yasaran family? We have nothing to do with them. When Ebenine was worried about your life, she blamed them for it, and your wife confirmed it. That's a misunderstanding as well. You're not telling the truth. I'll tell you the truth, officer. The Yasserans are from the same village with Miss Maryam. They even bought a house from her. And then Miss Maryam regrets it because she thinks that she sold it for a lesser price than its value. After that, she starts a quarrel. That kind of hostility is between them, and she's obsessed. Whatever happens, she holds them responsible for it. Oh, no. Karem, say something, would you please? You're just making me speak. 
She told you everything. Yes. Someone made a statement about Salim Yasseron in the local newspaper, you know? Did you hear about it? Yes, we heard about it. We heard about that gossip after leaving the village, but we don't know what it is. We don't know. I thought about him so, so much. I was wondering what I would do if I saw him. I was wondering if I could ever forgive him because he left me and found someone new. I was wondering if I could tell him to stop if he wanted to kill me. I know that I wouldn't do this, but I was scared. If I forgot about everything as soon as I saw him. My anger swept away everything. There's nothing left inside of me. But you told him whatever you wanted to say. You must be relaxed a little bit. I have nothing inside of me, yet I'm not relaxed. I don't feel relaxed at all. There's a big hole inside of me. I feel the burden of this big hole. It feels like I'm struggling with an enemy whom I can't even see. I feel like I'm suffocating. You're still under the effect of those moments. But it'll be over soon. You know it will, right? It'll be over. You burnt our house! You burnt all of my hopes! You burnt me, Mustafa! You burnt me! He protected me when you were running away from me! Now that you've prevented the officers from doing their job, I suppose you won't make a complaint about him. He hasn't done anything. He just went there and talked. Yeah, he just talked. Karim. You were beaten and you were threatened. Why aren't you making a complaint? Is there something that's forcing you not to? I'm not afraid of anything. He came and got his frustration out. I don't want anything to grow bigger, that's all, all right? He's right. There's no need for any trouble. May Allah give him some trouble. 